So I had a conversation with somebody the other day. We're talking to Tools of Souls here on the phone. And he was like, hey, uh, if I change out the panel, do I need to put arc faults? And I was like, well, not, not unless you go more than six feet for the extension, you know what I mean? Because anything, you extend more than six feet requires an arc fault for any circuits like that, light fixtures, whatever you're doing. So sometimes I relocate the panel from the closet to a bedroom or wherever they're gonna put it in the hallway, then yeah, you're supposed to unfortunately put arc faults on all the circuits. But for receptacles, in replacement receptacles, 406.4D, I believe, replacements, says that your receptacle must be AFCI protected if it's replaced. So then you run into the scenario where you got a bunch of existing wiring. There's no possible way to make the existing wiring work with AFCIs because sometimes they share the neutrals. And then the breaker just trips and constantly trips because it was never designed for that 30 years ago. You know, different circuits. So then it becomes just a huge pain because you've changed out plugs, you pulled a permit for it, and now you're stuck upgrading your whole house if you have a tyrant for an electrical inspector. So I told the guy, I said, hey, did you put plugs as part of the inspection, like, title? And he starts looking. I was like, dude, please tell me you don't didn't put plugs. So he's looking. He's like, no, no, it just says panel change out. I was like, why are we talking about plugs? <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, do me a favor. Don't ever put plugs on a panel change out because you do not need a permit to replace receptacles. But if you put receptacles on a permit, it's my job as an inspector to make sure that it gets installed per NEC. So unfortunately, I would have to be a tyrant and force you to install ASCI protection on your replaced receptacles. And I said, don't do that because tyrants deserve to get shot in the face. So if, you came in, if I came to your house and forced you to do that and you threatened me, I would completely understand. Yeah. So these are the limited edition clines here. Can't even get them out. I can't get them out with one hand. It's a new pouch. Hang on. Dude. Limited edition there. And then I've got these that I'll be giving away. So we bought these two. These are also the limited edition uh, 2000s Journeyman series. These are $39. And Milwaukee's non-Journeyman series are $49. So they come loose from the factory. And they look really good. Also picked up some goodies for some future videos. The reset blades and the multi-tool blade on sale at Home Depot. We got got the magnet here. And I think that's all the time we got. Thanks for watching. So for more.